Russia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has hit out at the Wall Street Journal for publishing a piece on the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant that reflects a complete failure to see the cause-effect relationships, according to state media outlet TASS. The Wall Street Journal report in question was released on Sunday, 14th August, and carries the headline, Russia's goal in attack on nuclear plant. Take the electricity, Ukraine says. The piece argues that Russian soldiers' shelling of the facility since 5th August is a deliberate step in Russia's wider goal, stealing Zaporizhia's power by severing its connection to Ukraine's remaining territory, according to Ukrainian leaders, international nuclear power experts and the plant staff. Several Zaporizhia employees said that Russia's state-owned nuclear energy company Rosatom Technicians have openly discussed rerouting electricity to territories occupied by Russia and eventually back into Russia. Senior Russian officials, including Deputy Prime Minister Marat Khusnulin, have publicly pledged to integrate Zaporizhia with Russia's energy system or force Ukraine to pay for the electricity. The complex is defended by anti-personnel mines along the reservoir that feeds water into the reactor and the ponds that cool its spent rods. Heavy weaponry in place has included smirch missile launchers and grad rocket launchers, according to plant workers, Ukrainian officials and satellite and cell phone imagery of the complex, the WSJ piece added. Russia's objection to the story stems from a paragraph further down, which argues that Russia is capable of not only slicing off the nuclear plant's connections to the rest of Ukraine, but also install infrastructure that can reroute power to occupied territories, Russia and even export markets where the price of electricity is surging. According to TASS, Russia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs views a conclusion of Russia destabilizing energy markets as wild and blamed Ukraine for shelling the nuclear plant premises and putting the rest of Europe at risk. The conclusion is clear. By destroying energy infrastructure, the Kiev regime is putting billions of European residents at risk of a nuclear disaster with the connivance of Washington. But the Wall Street Journal, based thousands of kilometers from the region at risk, clearly has no interest in that. TASS quoted the Russian MFA as saying. Meanwhile, the fallout of numerous attacks at Russian bases in occupied Crimea continues through disrupted public transport systems and mass evacuations with Russia referring to them as a result of sabotage, according to Reuters. In the absence of any official claimed responsibility by Ukraine, some Ukrainian government officials have reportedly celebrated the attacks. But President Zelensky has erred on the side of caution and said the following in his Tuesday night address to his people. I am now asking all our people in Crimea, in other regions in the south of the country, in the occupied areas of Donbass, in the Kharkiv region, to be very careful. Please do not approach the military objects of the Russian army and all those places where they store ammunition and equipment, where they keep their headquarters. The reasons for the explosions in the occupied territory can be different, very different in particular. I quote the definition of the occupiers themselves, bungling. But they have all the same meaning. The destruction of the occupiers' logistics, their ammunition, military and other equipment, command posts, saves the lives of our people. The fewer opportunities the occupiers have to do evil and kill Ukrainians, the sooner we will be able to end this war by liberating our land. For The Print, this is Raghav Bikchandani. For more, log on to theprint.in and follow us on social media.